This is the colorful RTX 4090 Vulcan OCV and I've been running it for days and the good news is that it hasn't burned. Hi everyone, I'm Goldfries and welcome back. Now before I begin, let's talk about this graphics card. Huge thanks to GMC Worldwide which is the distributor for colorful graphics card. They sent me this NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 uh, despite knowing that I'm going to do something with it and having huge faith in me on this just as I have huge faith in NVIDIA for the power connection that we have a lot of news going about on how it's burning up so I decided to take it for a spin not by gaming because I cannot be gaming 24 hours a day I will end up in trouble because I have work and all that so gaming is a no-no but what I did was run the RTX 4090 with folding at home and it's been five days now actually I wanted to publish this video like after three days or do a daily update kind of thing but well I failed so we're doing it now we're now at the, about the five day mark it's almost almost five days exactly which is like what 500 almost 120 hours of running in this rig over here and it has not burned I'm using the GameBS Cyclops X 1200 watts 80 plus platinum power supply and using the adapter provided in this graphics card of uh, this great graphics card at that's retailing emulation rate of RM 8899 if you are interested to know but this video is less about this card we'll go into that we'll go deep dive into this graphics card later in another video but for now I'm just going to talk about how this card is and it has not burned and yes, five days on, no burning. What I did was, yeah, like I mentioned, I ran folding at home. The load is about 87 to 90%. You know, the GPU load is not at 100%. So it's at about 90%. And the power draw, as shown in hardware info, is about 360 watts. Not your 450 watts as expected. I did not overclock it, but I feel that 360 watts is good enough considering I have run it for so long. I mean, if it's going to burn, it's going to burn by now. At least to what I understand, 360 watt is still high load and that's a small connector as with a lot of theories going around. I did try, I tried and it has not burned. And the uh, when it comes to the cable itself, I know if you watch uh, Gamers Nexus video, they mentioned that if you peel out this extension and you see the wire ratings, I try to peel and this is what it looks like as I go through all the, the, the cover or whatever you call that thing, I can't remember right now. But as you can see, it does not show any number. So I was a bit, um, I did watch Gamers Nexus video, so I was wondering whether I would burn anything, but thankfully it did not burn. As for folding at home, I can tell you, this RTX 4090 is a card that I really, really want to buy. Not so much for the gaming performance. I mean, most of my cards still work fine, but for the folding at home experience. Now, if you look at this on screen, the RTX 3080 Ti, for example, is a 350 watt uh, uh, GPU and graphics card with this GPU typically folds at, from my experience, is about 6 million to 8 million PPD. Take note of these numbers. Now, the RTX 4090 here uses 360 watts as reported in hardware info and I am getting 25 million PPD. That's about three times more. So you basically similar power draw but three times or even four times more depending on whether you're going with, with a 6 million or 8 million uh, PPD on the 3080 Ti. Of course, there are some work units for the that I saw on the RTX 4090 that runs at say 12 to 15 or even 17 million PPD, but generally it's a 25, 24 to 25 million PPD mark as reported in the folding at home software. So basically, uh, that's what I have to say right now. Well, let's recap. One, I have not burned this GPU's connector. This graphics card connected. The GPU is the RTX 1490. We are talking about the connector to the graphics card. It's not burned yet after five days. Uh, approximately 90% workload at 360 watts power draw, 24 7. 
<laughs> yes, not burned yet. And second, the power effic the efficiency of running distributed computing, in my case, folding at home, is superb. It's the most efficient, most cost-effective card for folding at home purpose. So that's the two main points. So if you're like me who loves contributing to folding at home, then this is definitely the card to get. Now, I'm not saying that you will not burn your your um, this uh, cable. I did not burn mine. I've personally tested and if you watch Gamers Nexus video, they've also tested and they couldn't get it to burn as well. So yeah, I have friends and contacts who are afraid to run the 4090 even for gaming purpose. But personally, based on my experience with this colorful RTX 4090 Vulcan OCV that retails at RM8899 went with a whole lot of features which I will cover in another video. I'm going to say that if I ever do get a 4090, definitely I will consider this one. And well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.